So we're just checking everything out before we take off. We got about 150 miles to go today. Let's go get a truck stop to, to the truck stop, get a parking spot. And I'm just looking at everything. When I'm looking at the engine, first thing I'm looking at is for oil leaks, anything leaking, anything looks out of place. Uh, I try to keep my engine as clean as possible. Oil looks pretty good. So we're in a no fuzzy bubbles anything in the oil so that looks good oh I did want to keep an eye on this here hang on a second let me check this this has a little leak but it doesn't drip on the ground so that looks good full cold all right so that's good belts look good crawl up here let's look in the radiator real quick hang on a sec let me crawl up here so we'll pop the radiator open look in there make sure everything looks good in there looking for like oil in the red coolant make sure it's full coolant all right let's get down All right, let's go to the other side. All right, over here, check everything out. Make sure the exhaust not cracked or anything. Make sure we don't see any oil around the turbo. Also, I look to see any oil around the heads leaking around there. We got just a little bit of a coolant leak. These are the valves for the coolant filter. Got a little bit of a coolant leak right there, but it's still serviceable, as they say in the army. All right, before I start the truck so you guys can hear me, um, I had some camera difficulties. This is the camera. This is a, a Polaroid cube. They don't make these things anymore. But this is what I was using for my dash cam. And uh, it's not working properly. This is the camera. This is another Polaroid cube that I use. Let's see, get you out of the sun. This is what I use when I mount on the back of the truck for loading and unloading. This one still works pretty good. And then I have a GoPro Hero 5 that I use sometimes. And then this is like an aftermarket uh, GoPro that I'm going to use. The picture quality on this is not as good. Now, the reason that I don't use the GoPro as the dash camera for road footage, this camera and the little Polaroid camera, so to get a little technical, they, they record files every five minutes. So every five minutes of videoing, recording, it creates a new file. So when I create the driving videos and you see a new scene, new scene, usually what that is is the first second, first couple of seconds of every file video every five minutes. Um, the GoPro does not record like that. The GoPro records in one hour units, um, which makes it extremely difficult to edit driving videos like that. When you download two or three hours worth of GoPro footage into the video editor, the computer has a hard time keeping it up so anyway that's a little technical insight um so today we're going to use this camera right here i'm going to try to get a little bit of road footage we'll see how it goes we'll use this camera right here today the picture quality is not quite as good until um we'll use that until i can figure something out all right let's crank her up let it cycle through a little bit i don't know what we're near we're near pioneer Tennessee and I don't know what's going on but everybody's everybody's got their little four-wheeler things all right let's do this there we go all right it's gonna be a lot of beeping and everything until everything gets warmed up all right I'll talk to you in a bit I think we're tucked away out of the way here somewhat level it's leaning back just a little bit all right uh, today's video is sponsored by Dorsey Trailer. If uh, you want to check out some more information, there's a link down in the description. Bye.
loaded. It wasn't too bad. I thought it was gonna be a little worse. But it wasn't too bad. I'm gonna try to squeeze out of here. Try to squeeze out of here. now we're in Georgetown Kentucky and uh, I'm gonna go stop over here at the truck 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 fridge store and uh, pick me up a uh, refrigerator for this truck the uh, refrigerator in this truck is not working. But it's old refrigerator. It's about 14, 15 years old, 16 years old. This truck did not come with a refrigerator. Um, the part that's broken, I looked up, it's like three or four hundred dollars for the part. So plus to have it installed. So I just went ahead and decided to go ahead and buy a new one. No trucks in right lane. I have never been to this place before. Didn't go too bad. But the refrigerator store is right over here at the pilot. right here and this is where I bought the refrigerator for the other truck now the refrigerator in the other truck is different than the refrigerator in this truck it's smaller it doesn't fit in the hole it doesn't fit in the hole so uh, I couldn't swap them out get turned around but I guess I'll figure that out later. I'll figure that out in a bit. Alright, let me go get my refrigerator. And uh, talk to you guys in a bit. Okay, we got our refrigerator. I know it's kind of hard to see, but there it is right now. That's the new refrigerator. That's the hole it goes into. And that's the wiring harness right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wire off and cut into the wiring harness for the refrigerator because they gave me this fancy wiring harness here and plug that in. And then uh, put it in. It, it's real easy. It just got four screws that go in. I slide it in there. And it should fit. So give me a couple minutes to uh, wire it up and then we'll put it in there. Alright. I got it uh, wired up. 
make it look somewhat professional there's the plug so it came with this plug right here so I spliced into the power for the refrigerator I plugged it in make sure the refrigerator is getting power it's got a little light in there a little light came on so now I'm going to lift it up mount it in there and put the screws in so I will show you when it's finished there's all my tools right there I have uh, made a little plastic bin and this is all my electrical repair stuff so anything that has to do with uh, electrical repairs that's what I use that I put in that little bin all right we got it in stalled that's what it looks like a little light pretty cool a little freezer compartment so and uh, it's getting cool you can feel it so we'll leave it running for a little while let it cool down so um, we're about an hour and a half from Louisville I need to get over to Louisville get the truck inspected we're gonna do some running around let that cool down and uh, we'll get some groceries and uh, I can quit eating junk so uh, anyway all right I'll talk to you when we get to Louisville all right it's the end of the day um, I think I left you guys I was putting a refrigerator in so I got over to Mercer and uh, got my truck inspected I had uh, one set of brake shoes that uh, they thought were a little low so I went ahead and replaced them so all in all that's not too bad though so everything else uh, passed inspection so we're good to go on that um, as you can tell I don't know if you see it too much but uh, I got a haircut I went and found me a barber got a haircut <laughs> I was getting a little shaggy uh, let's see what else oh I got my IFTA sticker some of you guys noticed I didn't have my IFTA stickers on and I had to wait till I got here to get them I got my IFTA stickers and also I picked up some more veteran decals and put them on today too so we'll have to go out and see those later tomorrow or something uh, don't have a reload yet I did my I went already went to Walmart stocked up the refrigerator uh, I still gotta go take a shower and I'm going to do a load of laundry and then I should be ready to go so uh, hopefully but anyway I just wanted to end today um, I've been pretty busy this afternoon little truck started right up I already drove it over to the little to uh, the little store to the big store Walmart so anyway that's all good all right that's it I'm gonna call it quits for today I still gotta get a shower and do a load of laundry um, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.